Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to work with stored procedures. Normally, we have three types of stored procedures. One is a stored procedure with no input and no output parameter. So I have a stored procedure. Name is sp underscore get all employees. Where I am trying to get the information of all the employees. Joining it with department table. So this is a simple stored procedure and the other stored procedure is a stored procedure where I have input parameter that is department ID and I am trying to get the information of all the employees belonging to this department. And the third is a type of stored procedure where I have input parameter as well as output parameter. Now let us see the stored procedure which does not take any input and any output parameter. I am going to work with first stored procedure. It is get all employees. So for that I have a page called as emp.aspx and I will take a normal grid view where I want to display the result of the output stored procedure. Now I need to add this stored procedure to my entity data model. To do so, I will double click on entity data model, I will right click on this and I will say update model from database, I will explore stored procedures and I am going to take sp underscore get all employees, I will say finish. Now, I have one more window that is specifically for this model and that window is called as model browser. If I explore this model browser, I have model store and organization model. This store is nothing but direct relation to your database and the model is nothing but your classes or you can say this is your storage schema and this is your conceptual schema now I'll explore stored procedures so you can see the stored procedure that I have added sp underscore get all employees now I'll double click this I get a window called as add function import now what is that I should do I should click on get column information now these are the columns that my stored procedure is returning employee id employee name employee salary date of birth department name and hod now i'll say create new complex type that means it is going to create an equivalent property class for this stored procedure with all these fields as properties so I'll say create new complex type and you should see that new complex type in your model. New complex type name is sp underscore get all employee underscore result. And I'll say okay. So I get a function import that is sp underscore get all employees and an associated complex type for this that is your sp underscore get all employee underscore result. If I explore this should see all the columns as properties. This is how we need to add the stored procedure. Add the stored procedure, create a complex type for that and save this. Now I'll go back to the employee page and in page load I want to execute that. As usual I, sh I should say using organization model. So this is the namespace that I need to add and I need to create organization entity object after creating the object the things are very simple I need to simply call the distort procedure as a method sp underscore get all employee 
and it is going to return me the list of sp underscore get all employee underscore result complex type that we created. I can simply say dot to list and this list I can directly assign to the grid view. Grid view one dot data source equals to so and so and I'll say grid view one dot data bind. I'll save this and I'm going to execute this. It should give me the information about all the employees along with their department information. So that's it. This is very simple. This is how you can call a sort procedure. Now in our next video, we will see how to call a sort procedure with input parameter. So this is all about calling a simple sort procedure. Thank you very much.